Welcome back to Building Better Developers. Today, we're going to talk about one of these sort of foundational kinds of things, but it's also something that a lot of people have questions about. What is a sprint? Where is the value in a sprint? These are common questions, particularly what is a sprint? How does it work? I think a lot of people have an idea these days. Developers have gotten into that agile approach to software development, but I don't know that you've maybe stepped back and said, what's the value of a sprint? Why, are, why would we do that? Now, first, let's step into the definition a bit about the what is a sprint. The shortest way or a very straightforward way to define it is that a sprint is a predefined period to get something accomplished. So yeah, it may be a, a day, a week, a month, a year, but you could essentially say that yeah, and it, yes, there are different time frames that are going to sort of have a different meaning, specifically because a sprint is usually going to be a shorter period, so maybe weeks. If it's a year, that's probably a marathon or something like that. Thinking to the physical, real world race application of a sprint, a sprint is going to be a short, high energy race. You are running. A sprint is actually most people attribute that to running as fast as they can for a short period of time. The software development concept of that is very similar to it. We're going to run hard and get to our destination. Now, one of the things that a sprint helps us with is that we're doing bite-sized pieces. Think about that race concept a little bit. We are going for a short period of time, which means we're not going to be able to do a lot during that. You're not going to be doing you know, a front end and a back end, a middle tier, and you know, hundreds, of, hundreds of pages and things like that. This is where we're saying, okay, we're going to focus on a feature or a group, a small grouping of features. This allows us to really do it right, essentially. We're not going to have to worry about switching gears and what are we working on here? This thing's only partially done, things like that. Another thing we get from sprints is we get regular wins. We get to the end of that sprint and we are done. We have accomplished something. Uh, obviously, you know, if you don't get anything done during the sprint, then it's a regular loss. But typically what it is, is that we build a sprint or plan a sprint so that we are making progress. And we have a marker of the sprint completed and we made the progress to whatever that point was. And with this, because it's bite-sized pieces and things like that, we can easily make adjustments to where we want to go. Think of a big software application that's got a lot of different features and lots of forms and reports and pages and things like that. Within the sprints, you may only tackle you know, a report or two or a page or two or one or two features. And you can really get those done. But in the meantime, there may be other things going on in the background. The industry may change, things like that, that we now have not invested in all of these other pieces. We've only invested in these little pieces at a time, which means that we can easily make adjustments. Think about running a race like a, a marathon where you are heads down. You're just, you're head down driving forward to your goal. The best way, the most efficient way to do so, to complete that marathon, is to go heads down and go. You know you're going from point A to point B and just go. Get on the road and go. If you don't necessarily know where B is, where point B, where your destination is, you're going to have to look up periodically. You're going to have to pick your head up, slow down a little bit, assess where you're at, and then decide where you're going to go. That does take time, but does allow you to more easily adjust. So if you don't know where B is, if you don't know where your destination is, then you want to regularly pick your head up, assess where you're at, and make some adjustments. Another thing, and really this is, the, I think, the best value of a sprint. When we're thinking about that race again, you're running hard. You are driving towards your destination. When you complete the sprint, you get to recover. You think about if you can picture in your mind racers running a sprint. Remember or think about them running really hard and they're just 
all out trying to get to that finish line. And then they cross the finish line. They slow down a little bit. Maybe they walk around, take a deep breath, and they recover. And depending on where they're at and what they're doing, that allows them to you know recover, get a drink of water, whatever it is. And then maybe 30 minutes later, hour later, whatever it is, come back and do another sprint. So now you are making progress. You know, you're winning that race or you're racing that race anyways. You're racing that sprint. And then you get to recover and go right into the next one. So you are steadily making progress at very high pace for a while. And then you adjust, you rest, you can make some adjustments, and then you go do it again. And so you are able to get the benefits of focus of being able to really get into whatever that challenge is, that feature is, that software that you're building, that specific piece of it, and really understand it, really do it well, not have distractions, get it done, and then move on to the next one. It's a, you know, so you get it done, put it on the shelf or whatever it is, deploy it, and then you move on to the next thing. And this allows you to have that, that benefit of, what focus gives you. So you're not spending time switching gears. You're not spending time trying to adjust to another feature or another section of code. You're in the code. You're That is what you're doing. And I think all of us realize that there is value in that, that that is how we build the best software is that we really focus on it. We get rid of the distractions. We think through it. We implement it all sort of in the same breath as it were so that it's all fresh to us. Because if you write some code and you come back six months later, it's gonna be a little challenging. It's not gonna be the same. So that is a sprint and the value of one. We're going hard for a short period of time. We've got a small group of tasks. And the benefit is that we get to really focus on those. We get to really worry just about that smaller bite-sized chunk instead of having to think about the big picture. It goes back to the old saying of, you know, how do you eat an elephant? You eat an elephant elephant a bite at a time. You can't just like take it in one big bite. It's the same thing with our software projects. It's better off if we take those essentially small bites, chew them, digest them, move on to the next one. And it does sort of fall into that slow and steady wins the race. But it is a series of very fast paces, steady that win the race. We go hard. Rest, recover, go hard, rest, recover. And we do that until we get the end of this larger race that we want to get to.